Hey, so now that you finally decided to pick up your phone, um, when are you coming down here? What do you mean you're not coming anymore? What? Why not? What changed? Other things to deal with. Okay, sure. Um, so I'm supposed to deal with her on my own? I thought you were going to deal with her for me so that I wasn't the bad guy. I am not always the bad guy. Okay, maybe to her I am. But still, why, why, would, why would you care? Why would that phase you? Okay, well, you're a dick. I'm done with you insulting me. You're rude. You take it way too far with the insults, okay? I'm hanging up the phone, and I'm not talking to you anymore. Oh my god! I can't deal with this anymore. I'm leaving. I'm, I'm hanging up now, because you're being... Hello? What the... Ah, that bitch hung up on me. How rude. I was going to hang up on her, but whatever. So much for her freaking helping out today. Oh, well, I can handle this on my own. I've handled it before on my own, so this should be no issue. It! Okay, I told you to stop doing that. You're going to end up breaking something, and then I'm going to have to order the parts just to fix you. Oh my god, I swear you guys don't make my job any easier. It. Oh, yeah? What What do you need? I need you to come with me, please. What? Why? What did I do? Don't worry about that. Go! Uh, Golden Freddy, respectfully, I'm busy. I'm in the middle of something. I don't care. Go! I'll deal with it. I'll talk to him. Go! <sighs> okay can't believe her. Anyways, what is going on with you? She was supposed to fix me, man. What the hell did you do that for? I didn't do anything, okay? I'll have Ennard come and fix you. It's no big deal. But Ennard doesn't do as good of a job as she does. Monty, shut up. At least you're being fixed, okay? It doesn't matter. Ennard has every right and every capability to fix you that she does. She's just quicker and better at it. Exactly! I need to get back to doing what I was supposed to do. And I can't do that because my hand keeps trying to fall off my arm. Well, I don't know what to tell you, dude, okay? You're just gonna have to suck it up and let Ennard fix you. He can fix you. And if you're that worried about it, well, it can fix you better later, I guess. Now, I'll go call him and tell him to come in here. Ah, Golden Freddy. I'm not even gonna insult you right now because, like, I don't, I don't want to. Yeah. All right. I want you to look at something for me. Okay? Look at that footage right there. Okay? What do you see in that footage? Uh, I see me going to the portal room and going into a portal. Okay, good. You know, you can still see for now. Cool. Wait, for now? Shush. Okay, now, what does the timestamp on that say? Uh, I don't know. Okay. It says, like, 4.30? Good, good, good. Now, what does the timestamp on this say? Um, 5.05? Oh, 5.06? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm so confused. What is this? Shut up. Don't interrupt me. Now, what are you doing in that clip? Uh, walking out of the portal? I'm sorry, what is, what are you trying to prove? Like, what are you trying to, what is this about? It took you 35 minutes to walk in and out of a portal. Okay, and what's the big deal? That's quite literally my job. Hello? That's what you made me to do. No, I made you to fix and repair everybody and to make new people for this building. I did not make you to go into different dimensions and give out our information. <laughs> whoa, whoa, hold on. You think I'm doing what? I would never. It? 
I don't believe you, okay? You're a liar. I'm not a liar. I'm pretty sure since you programmed me and you made me as a replacement, you would know if I was lying or not. Exactly. Like, right now, I know that you're lying. Now, what were you in there doing, and why were you in there for so long? You know you're not allowed to spend more than five minutes in a different dimension. I know, Golden Freddy. So why did it take you so long to come out? Say it. You better speak the truth because I'm going to find out. I'm going to check. I have somebody that can check. Golden Freddy, I went in there, okay? And then I ended up having a conversation with somebody. That's it. The conversation only lasted like 30 minutes, if that. So calm down, okay? It was nothing big. I didn't give out our location. I didn't give out any information. I didn't even really tell them anything about this dimension, period. It was just a conversation to get to know them so that I could go home. That was it. That was my only motive. I was just trying to get them to actually help me get home. Not that I needed it, but still. So you are lying to me because you, of all people, do not need help getting home. You control the portals. You can go in and out of whatever portal you want to. You can do as you please. You don't need help getting home. You don't need help going anywhere. So that's a lie. So what was the conversation really about? I'm telling you what the conversation was about. I told you. I was just having a conversation. It was just a simple, hi, how are you? Tell me some things about yourself. That was it. It was nothing big. There was nothing major about it. So then what did you say? I didn't say anything. I just said the simple things. Hi, how are you? What have you been up to? What is this dimension like? Stuff like that. That's all I said. And then I even put it in the files. I literally made a file about it. I told you that, you know, there's bad people in that dimension and there's good people in that dimension. And I wasn't killed right away. Like, I told you that it was a dimension that you could go to. You could walk around a little bit, at least, in. Like, I just said simple stuff like that. It was nothing bad. It was nothing severe. It was nothing important. It's none of your business. Also, might I add, everything that you do is my business. Thank you very much. Everything that you say and do is my business. I think you're forgetting that I own you. It's not the other way around. And you certainly do not make your own decisions. You're not your own boss. You don't do what you want. Do you understand? You do as I say, when I say it, and you do how I tell you to do it. You don't go against the rules. You don't go behind my back and do whatever you want because you think it's the right thing to do. That is not how things work here. I just wasn't trying to be rude, okay? I wasn't trying to come there and make them seem like I was being an asshole. I wasn't trying to do that. I was just trying to be friendly. I don't want you to be friendly to other people. Being friendly to other people, especially in different dimensions, always leads to problems. And that is what you're going to start. That's what you're going to cause if you keep it up. Okay, well, you know what? I'm sorry. It'll never happen again. I'll make sure that I never have a social interaction with anyone else from a different dimension ever again. Blah, blah, blah. There, I said it. Are you happy now? Can I go? Can I go back to doing my job? No. No, no, you cannot. Because another thing that I want to show you. Oh, my God. So, by the looks on my camera footage here. Oh, yay. Love the cameras. Shut up with the smart mouth. Anyway, look at this. Look at you in your room. Okay? I'm looking at me in my room. Now, what are you doing? Golden Freddy, you have the cameras. You're looking at it. You know what I'm doing. You don't need me to illustrate everything you're doing. Okay. If that's how you want to play things. You're on the phone. So what? Everybody has a phone here. Everyone is always on their phone. Not always, not when you're supposed to be working. But who were you on the phone with? I was on the phone with somebody from over here. Somebody from over here, huh? Well, that's a lie, so try it again. I was on the phone with somebody from this place. That is a lie. Try again. Maybe try telling the truth. Golden Freddy, what are you trying to prove here? What are you trying to tell me? Seriously, what's the big deal? The big deal is I checked all the other cameras. I checked all the other animatronics. And I even asked them, 
if they were on the phone with you that day. They all said, no, I wasn't on the phone with her today. I've spoken to her, but I wasn't on the phone with her. All of them said that. No, the cameras did not show anybody on the phone with you or really anyone at the same time that you were on the phone. And you spent a good 10 minutes on the phone with whoever this was. So you need to tell me what you were really doing in that dimension. I told you, I had a civil conversation and I went home. That's it. Sure it was. Sure it was. Listen to me. I'm on to you. Yeah, you think I didn't know that? You know what? I've had it. Because clearly, nothing I'm doing to you is working. I've tried resetting you. Nothing is working. I tried rebooting you. I tried powering you off and powering you back on again. I tried to reprogram you entirely. I've even, I mean, I've reassembled you a few times. I've rearranged a few of your wires. I've changed some of your parts out. I do not know what else I can do to you to make you listen to me. You can't, because at the end of the day, I am a free spirit, okay? I deserve freedom, I deserve privacy, and I deserve to have a life that does not always involve you. But everything you do involves me. The whole point of you existing is for me. You're supposed to help me. You're supposed to do things for me. You're supposed to do as I say. That is the whole purpose. I made you for the sole purpose of helping me out. You are made for me. You're made as a backup if I am unable to do something. That is why you have all the knowledge and all the capabilities that you have because of me. I gave you those for a reason. I gave you those to help boost me and to help give me advantages. Not for you to try to outsmart me and come here and tell me that you want to be your own person and have privacy. That's not what this is about. Okay. There is no more chances for you. Okay. I w I'm going to go in your room. And I'm taking your phone. I'm taking anything of yours that you can use to contact other people. What the fuck are you? A parent? No, I'm not your parent. I'm not trying to be a parent. I'm trying to keep us safe. No, you're just trying to be controlling. You're trying to control every situation. You're trying to control me. I'm not trying to control you. If I was trying to control you, believe me. I could. Actually, you know what? You just gave me an idea. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, yes. You want to go behind my back and disobey me and possibly risk everyone's lives? No, Golden Freddy, that, no, 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 that was not my intention, I swear. Oh, you swear. It's too late to swear. You stay put and don't move. Oh, my God, I'm fucked. Oh, my God, what did I do? What did I do? If I knew that all of this was going to cause that, what, what is he even doing? What is he going to do? He literally just said that everything he's done hasn't worked. Oh, wait a minute. There, there is one thing he didn't do. Oh my god, I'm fucked. Alrighty. Let me just grab this. If nothing else I do is going to fucking teach her a lesson, this may as well. Oh, good, good. Glad to see you didn't move. Well, it wouldn't have mattered, because even if I did move, you would have been able to find me on the cameras, you would have been able to find me on the tracker, you would have been able to find me through everybody else, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you're right, so I'm glad you listened to me. What is that? I don't worry about it. Something, uh, something someone gave me. Something somebody gave you? Who gave that to you? It doesn't matter who gave it to me. But, uh, before I do this, just know that this will only be for a little while. Okay, I'm only doing it to teach you a lesson. I'm doing it for the better. Okay, it needs to happen. Golden Freddy, what are you doing? It doesn't matter. Okay, like I said, it does not matter because I'm doing it to help you out in the long run. And it's just a punishment. Okay, it's nothing permanent. Oh, my God. It's only, it's only for a week. Okay, it's only for a week. After a week, we'll try again. We'll try again. We'll try again. Now turn around. I don't think I want to. Turn around. Okay, what are you doing? Don't worry about it. It's okay. You'll be all right. Okay. Did 
There you go. Okay. Now, before she or when she wakes up. Actually, I need to know when they uh when they plan on coming back because if they plan on coming back before a week, I need to I need to fix that uh sooner. Uh let me call her. I don't know if she'll answer me. After the conversation we just had, I don't know if she'll answer me. Ba -doo -ba -doo, answer your phone. Do -ba -doo -ba -doo, answer your phone. Oh, hey. Yeah, I know what I said, okay? I know. But actually, I have a question for you. When do you think you'll be coming back here? Okay, and how long do you think that's going to take? Okay, so I'm not trying to, like, rush you or anything, but you can't, like, pause that or maybe, like, make it go any faster. Like, you're really not going to do anything else. You're just going to focus on that. I know it's I know it's been a year. I know. Well, no, because I don't... I don't have that. I also don't... Okay, yeah, I get it. I understand. Sure. I'm just... I'm gonna say that because I know that if I don't, you're gonna... You're gonna kill me. I know how this goes. Okay, well, I was just asking because I still have that uh, little device that you gave me. Yeah, I have that still. And I had to use it on it. And I was gonna keep her that way for a week, but I didn't know if, like, you were gonna be back before then or or what. I was just asking because if you were gonna come back before then, I would need to know so that I can fix her before you take it. Because I know that you said when you come back, you're gonna take it. So I didn't know how long I had it for, and you, you gave it to me a few days ago. So I, you know, I didn't know. Well, it's, it's just for it, okay? It's not for anybody else. Everybody else listens to me. Everybody else does what they're supposed to do. It's just for it. I'm not going to overpower it, okay? I'm not, I'm not going to use it too much. Why would that even matter? Can't you just make a new one? Okay, gotcha. I understand now. All right, well, I promise it's just for it. Nobody else. I'm not even going to use it anymore. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put it up. Okay? I'm going to put it up like you told me to. Yep, I'll even send you proof. Every... Every hour? You're ridiculous! Okay, no, please don't do that. Okay, well, I'll see you next time you come here, I guess. Yep, bye. She's an ass, I swear to God. People over there are gonna murder her eventually. If, if they haven't already started to plan their murder. She's gonna get killed. There's no way she's gonna live over there. Anyways, uh... Okay, now let me just... Uh, the hell? Hey, it... How do you feel? How are you doing? You feel any different? I feel really different. What is this? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Now, go in your room and just, just rest for a minute. Oh, actually, go in your room and go give me your phone. Yes, sir. Oh my god, it really does work. No fighting, no arguing, no asking questions, just a simple... Oh, oh this is gonna be better than I thought it would. You know, this makes me wonder, what else can this thing do? Also, where did she even get this from? I know she didn't make this. Where'd she get it from? I don't know. All I know is that I like it, and maybe I can convince her to find or make me another one so that I can keep one for myself, because if this works how I think it's going to work, 
It's genius.